The ultimate beer vlog will have champagne beer. I'm not giving you very much of it. <laughs> We are beer vlogging from Talia and Brooklyn. Beer vlog, Talia, Brooklyn, Spike Lee territory. Sweet Weedy. Yes. Here we are at Talia in the line of Brook, in the line of Brook, in the Spike Lee territory. Or Talia. We are here, there, or somewhere else. No, we are definitely on Richardson Street in Brooklyn. There we have it. It is a woman owned brewery. Yay! Yes. They did have three choices of flights. I kind of like it when somebody makes you do a certain flight because you know me, I'll just load it up with all the dark beers and the IPAs. This feeling festive flight, there is something called the Weekender Masala Kai Lager. It is a lager, it is subtly sweet with warming spices and chai tea latte. Don't ever let her in charge of the sequencing of any event in your life. I, I'm almost thinking it smells like you're baking spice cookies or something. It is spicy. It almost tastes like something I should be sipping with a nice plate of spice cookies. Sweetie, I think you're always baking spice cookies. I'm the one that told you about baking cookies. The Weekender Masala Chai at Talia in Brooklyn. Sweetie, sweetie. Yes. I am so glad we are here at Talia in Brooklyn yes. having a Weekender beer yeah, on one day Friday, on Friday, yeah. for our penultimate beer vlog of 2023. Potentially penultimate. I think this is super tasty. The next thing in the flight is called Smooth Sailing Vienna Lager. They say it tastes like toasted Wonder Bread with dates and baking spice. I'm very intrigued. I think they're bringing us some food. You're going to have to make some room. Thank, Thank you. you. The pickles are um, addictive. It's very nice. It's sort of gentle and mild, but it's, it's not spiced, you know, like the other one, but I could see why there's a little spiciness to it. It's more like what I would think of as a pilsner, but as you know, when it comes to lagers and pilsners, I am no expert. I think that all pilsners or lagers are lagers, but not all lagers are pilsners. Sweetie, can you break that into a spreadsheet on a PowerPoint but slideshow? The Beer Avengers would know. Beer Avengers, we're talking to you. <laughs> Smooth sailing at Talia in Spike Lee country, otherwise known as Brooklyn. Smooth sail. Sweetie Weedy, I yeah. most enjoyed that. That makes me feel like I am smoothly sailing, just like when I'm lonely. I so rarely get to hang out with Chris Cross. I am glad that this smooth sailing beer, I tell ya, in Brooklyn, otherwise known as Spike Lee territory, allows me to hang out with Mr. Christopher Cross. The next one is called Fluffy Sour Ale. Did called... you say Fluffy? Yes, it's called Fluffy. Ron Jeremy. No, no. Day. It is called a fluffy Dante collab. It's either got or tastes like fresh squeezed OJ, dried cherry, spritzily bitter, brewed with orange, cherry, and botanicals. That sounds super interesting. It smells very much orangey. All right. Look, even some of the pickles came with oh, your pretzel. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I'm getting to like some sours. When they're not too taste, more like you're just drinking some kind of a cocktail that's sort of citrusy. The fluffy Sweetie, sour. Did you say fluffy? <laughs> I don't think you use fluffy that way. Fluffing, yes. Fluffy, no. Fluffy sour at Talia in Spike Lee territory known as Brooklyn. Fluffy sour, Talia. Sweetie Weedy? Yeah. I haven't cut my hair since COVID. I have fluffy David Cassidy hair. No, your hair is not very fluffy today. Now, there are two dark beers. One that came with it is called Cold Front Porter and then the Black IPA. The Cold Front Porter, we have Cold Front Porter. They say it is like a Tootsie Roll, lightly roasted coffee, and baking chocolate. And then we're going to try Midnight's Black IPA. Espresso foam, fruity chocolate, clean bitterness, brewed with Simcoe and Cascade hops. Well, it's not supposed to smell like coffee, but it kind of does. Very nice. Not too sweet. This is really good. It's very complex. Let me see if I can say something more cogent than just that. It's almost chocolate in a sense of a chocolate that would have a fruitiness to it. It's not too sweet at all. It's delicious. Tell me what you think. Cold front porter at Talia in Spike Lee territory, otherwise known as Brooklyn. Sweetie weedy. Yeah. I most enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. It's a nice, yeah, warm December. 29th day. It's it nice is, warm, uh, yeah. But it puts a little chill in me at the wonderfulness. Global warming think, is treating us well today. And I think of the, the, the front of cold and the... Sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, I, I could get double cold. It's called Midnight's. It smells delicious. It smells very much like just a regular old tropical fruity hazy IPA. I'm not giving you very much of it. <laughs> <sighs>
it is delicious, but I'm having the same reaction I had the other night where we drank one at home where I said, if, if I had a blindfold on, I'm not sure. I, I would definitely know this is an IPA. I'm not sure I would know I was drinking a black IPA. It's really nice, but it's closer to a regular IPA than a black IPA. Midnight at Talia in Brooklyn, otherwise known as Spike Lee Territory. Should we, we coffee, but not bitter. That was most excellent. And you know that this is the only day that we really could have this because we are not one midnight, but we are two midnights away from, from the champagne time where we put aside the beer and we have champagne for New Year's. It's true. Or we could get a champagne IPA. The ultimate beer vlog will have champagne beer. <laughs> We have a cheese plate and we have a pretzel. This is delicious. So I think we should say good night and, and eat some of our food. Can we get the Danielle Yelly pizza around the corner in the pizzeria that doesn't actually really exist? <laughs> Beer vlogging from Talia and Brooklyn. Beer vlogs, Talia, Brooklyn.